guys, hope you're well. I'm here today with the first part in a new series for you on how to draw a bunny. So for me, a real constant, reoccurring thing in my artwork and in my journals is bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits of all various types pop up time and time and time again for me in journals and if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my art journal flips um, you will see that all the time bunnies bunnies everywhere I'm always drawing bunnies um, and most of my bunnies are kind of whimsical they're um, anamorphosized um, as I say it, anamorphosized, anamorphic, um, yeah, they're like, <laughs> I try and make them out like little people, um, and they are very sort of cartoony and stylized, and it's something that I've been thinking of doing for a while now, is sort of sharing with you how I draw my bunnies, but it was also a request, um, from a couple of, um, subscribers who also wanted to know how I draw my bunnies, so... Yeah, so I thought I would do a series um, for you um, and just in part kind of how I do it and where how I draw my inspiration and that kind of thing really. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know I'm going to enjoy sharing with you because any excuse for me to draw a bunny is a good day as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. Happy, happy days. Happy bunny days. Um, so I'm going to put the series up on a Tuesday, every Tuesday. So you know, I've got Final Facts Fridays going up on a Friday. Um, and so this series is going to put up on a Tuesday for you. Um, and yeah, it's only going to be sort of probably about four parts um, because it won't take that long. So we'll go through um, drawing the bunny and then into sort of colouring or painting your bunnies as well. So yeah, I hope you come with me for the journey and will enjoy a chance to play in your journal, potentially learn something new, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just have fun um, experimenting with bunnies, basically. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, um, I have two bunny rascals. Their names are Splodge and Nibbles. Um, they are a constant source of inspiration for me, my bunnies. And I've kept bunnies in the past. And yeah, just their house bunnies and just having them around me all the time just gives me a great sense of joy and a sense of love. And that's kind of where my inspiration comes from, seeing their seeing their little personalities and their characters develop um you know they've all got their own personalities and it's really nice to get that bond with your with your pet and you know just see their personalities and i guess that's kind of where different um bunnies in my journal take on different personalities and different clothing um because i just see how my bunnies are varied and how their different characters have shone through and so I like to invent different sort of characters and personalities for my bunnies as well so hopefully you'll um, you'll sort of see that and you'll be able to start bringing some inspiration and character into your bunnies as well you know whether that's through what they're wearing or what they're doing or the scene that they're setting hopefully as we go on you'll be able to bring some of that some of that through into your artwork and start to share some of the joy um the little bunny rabbits um can can bring i have i'm bunny mad in most things um if you sit in any of my um my office my craft room you will know that i've got bunny stuff everywhere here as well so i'm just basically bunny crazy <laughs> Well, I'm crazy anyway, as if you didn't know, but, um, and if you followed me on my other channel on Vlogverse, you'll have seen a lot of my bunnies, um, so yeah, so it's just, it's all bunny, bunny, bunny here, <laughs> but yeah, let's start, um, and get into how to draw a bunny. So like humans, um, bunnies come in different shapes and sizes and colours, and varieties you've got sticky up eared bunnies you've got floppy eared bunnies you've got skinny bunnies chubby bunnies lots of different bunnies so 
Um, I'm going to show you a few um, examples of the of photographs and footage of bunnies that I've had um, over the years. So you can so if you're not too familiar with what a bunny rabbit looks like, actually, you know, we all have this idea in our head of what a bunny rabbit looks like. But um, so I'm just going to show you some images of bunnies, different sorts of bunnies, um, so that you can start to get an idea in your head of what a bunny rabbit looks like. But I also suggest that. Um, once you've had a look at my bunnies, you then pause this video, go away on, and say, go to Pinterest, set up a bunnies board, and just start looking at pictures of bunnies and start pinning them, just so that you can start to get um, more of a feel for different sorts of bunnies, look at real bunnies, look at other people's artwork of bunnies, um, you know, realistic drawings of bunnies, and also cartoon drawings of bunnies. So that's my first bit of homework for you is to pause this video now and go away and um, look at bunny imagery. Okay, so now we've had a chance to um, look at some lovely pictures of bunnies. Now I want to kind of look at um, face shapes and um, start to look at and draw um, just face shapes just to get us started. Um, I'm just going to be using a plain white um, sketch pad and um, either the Pilot Perma Ball or the Uni Ball in black literally just so that you can see what I'm doing on on screen and on the paper because if I was to use pencil it would probably be too light so that's just the reasons why you can use pencil if you want to um, I often use um, a biro or pen when I'm drawing because it makes me think far more about what I'm putting down on the paper whereas if I'm using um, pencil then I know that I can rub it out so I you know it focuses my mind and it's quite a good sort of um, drawing technique to just go straight to it in pen um, I'll just show you an example um, sort of flick through so for example these bunnies here these are all just done really sketchy just using a pen uh, as was this face and then just re-going over areas with the pen to kind of correct any mistakes um, and I quite like that sketchy look so we're going to do sort of like you know some with some really straight lines and some with some sketchy okay so let's start with um, a face shape so after looking at your bunnies um, what you will notice is that for example their eyes are on the side of their head and usually speaking their cheeks are wider than the top of their head so um, I try and think of it in terms of a triangle and triangles you know with having three points this being the top of the head and these being their cheeks and you can have like sort of like long and narrow ones, kind of like splodgy nibbles, or you could have short and stubby ones. You know, basically, you know, a bunny's face is very triangular in no matter what kind of way, you know, that becomes. It's got sort of triangular, top of the head and cheeks, top of the head and cheeks. So taking that triangle I then start to um, embellish that a bit further for example so I could think I've got some cheeks coming out here um, and then a cur more of a curved head so let's start down a bit further so we've got top of the head triangle bottom with the cheeks other cheeks top of the head so now we've got still the triangular shape but with more curves and we can start as we do it we can start to you know make different sizes but it's basically just think in terms of triangles and just start practicing practicing your triangles okay so then obviously these are really very pointed um, and you know you don't necessarily you might do I don't know you might not want very pointy headed 
bunny rabbits I don't know there might be some pointy headed bunny rabbits out there who knows um so we're gonna kind of soften that a little bit so turn the page let's keep sure we're in focus okay so you may want to kind of start to flatten the top of your um, rabbit out a little bit so we're still thinking in terms of the triangle but we're going to make that a little bit flatter at the top a little bit rounder and then come round okay so we're starting to get get a nice smoother shape going so just keep practicing your shapes basically make them flatter and squidgier and just keep just keep altering the shapes but keeping that basic triangular shape going with maybe a, a flatter bit on the top now i'm just doing these really quick quick and really rough kind of blue peter styley folks um but yeah just keep just keep practicing with those and then when you're ready, we'll move on um, a little bit more. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on, we want to try and get some more um, shape into the cheeks. Rather like, just get, the, get my pictures for you. Rather like this chap here, he's got more, um, you know, shape in his face so I'm going to start off again with my flat top and then what I'm going to do is I know where the top is I'm going to sort of like roughly look at the center of the top of his head and come down a little bit and make a mark there because that's where the bottom of his face is going to be and so from there I'm going to take one side down and up it's almost like a semicircle and then back out to the top of his head and the same almost without being crude almost a little bit like either an up like a bottom so if you could imagine that was a bottoms and that was a back so you either think of it in terms of a bottom or a heart shape but without the point so that would be that would be the point there on your heart which you which you don't want or you don't have to make it quite as extreme as that at all. You can just make it a little less. But the little indentation there is just leaving room for just leaving room for the mouth. But I mean you don't even need to even need to do that for for example this bunny here doesn't that I've drawn doesn't even have doesn't even have that. He's just very very straight across there but as you can see he's still got the triangle there's the top of the triangle and then the two sides he's still got the triangular shape there okay so that's basically part one is just to look at your bunnies look at the pictures of the bunnies that you've seen and start to practice drawing your triangles um, and once so start with your triangle shapes and then start to change your triangle into sort of round curves for the top of the head and the cheeks and then once you're comfortable with that start um, curving them out even more and then maybe start making them into um, heart shapes if you want to for the mouth um, but yeah just make some that are really tall and thin make some that are short and fat you know all shapes and sizes and just keep those and refer back to them don't worry if you don't like the look of them you might do once we start to put features and things in them so just keep them just go away look at bunnies every excuse to look at bunnies um, and then just start to practice your triangles and your curved out cheeks and we'll be back in part two to um, continue our bunny drawing journey next Tuesday so enjoy and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.